Creating subtitles and captions inside of Adobe Premiere Pro is really quick and really easy. Now, inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we just need to navigate our way to the text window and we need to transcribe our footage. So as you can see, this is our sequence. This is the video footage and we need to transcribe. So Premiere is just gonna run through the footage analyze what's being said and then create a transcription for us. And this will be the base of our captions. And Premiere is now finished. So let's play through the video and make sure these are correct. Perfect, absolutely nailed it. Now, if something was wrong there, then you can just double click go in and make those amendments. But if you're happy with what Premiere has generated for you, then we can just select these three dots and we can create captions. Now you have got some options here that you can play with maximum length in characters maximum duration in seconds. And then you've got gaps between frames. I like to keep that at zero because otherwise they turn off and on. And I'm not a fan of that. It doesn't look very great. So I like to keep that at zero and then line single or double. I just go for double. And let's play this back. Cool. Yeah, it does what it needs to do. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to select this caption here. Then I'm going to go up into window and I'm going to make sure that essential graphics is turned on. And this right here is essential graphics. So now I just want to change the look of this. So I'm going to change the font to monster app because that's my brand font. I'm going to decrease the size of this, play with these other options. We're going to add a background to this just so they pop off the background. And then to turn off this drop shadow because I'm not a fan of how the drop shadow looks. I might try maybe going for an all caps look. Yeah, I think that looks great. And then I'm just going to shift the position of this up just a little bit there we go it was a bit too low before and there we go so from here we'll go track style we'll create a style and we'll call this whatever we want to call this so box text press ok and that should apply to everything on the timeline which in this example it has so now that we've formatted this and it looks really nice we can now highlight all of those subtitle or caption layers we'll go up in to graphics and titles and we'll go upgrade caption to graphic now a caption is quite limited in terms of animation whereas a graphic you can do anything you want to it so we'll do that it's now moved this from the subtitles line into the graphics line or just onto our normal timeline and now from here we can get creative so we can go into the effect controls window we'll go to the beginning we'll decrease the scale down to zero percent create a brand new keyframe on the scale then we'll go maybe three frames to the right, change that to 110. And then we'll go four frames to the right and change that back to 100. And now we'll copy and paste that over all of the other text layers. And we now have animated text graphic. Now at the moment that doesn't look great because the animation is coming from the anchor point and the anchor point, if you look, is in the middle. So as this scales in, it's scaling in from that anchor point. So we're going to change the anchor point before we do anything else. So anchor point needs to be here. Then we'll move the position down. And when we play this back, sorted much better. I'm also going to change this last keyframe to an ease in just so it's a softer landing. There you go. And now we can copy everything there and then paste that onto the other layers. Of course, if you wanted to, you could maybe have them scaling down over time. So pick your longest graphic, which in my example is this one. We'll go through to the end and we'll make that 95. Nudge that to the very end. We'll copy and paste that. So now when we play it back, it pops in and then it slowly fades down. It just makes them look a little bit more dynamic. And of course, there are so many different ways that you can animate your captions, but that is it for this video. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. And if you did, then please consider pressing that subscribe button because it really does help the channel out a lot. So thank you and I will see you on the next video.